but you purchased it in your name in 2009. That's correct. Okay, and you have a mortgage on that house? Yes. When you purchased the house, you purchased it as a rental? No. To rent it. You have purchased it to live in? We did. We lived in it for about seven years. Who lived in it for seven years? Uh, my wife and I and our children. How many children? Uh, currently, I have five. At the time, I suppose when we moved out, we had three. You bought it in 2009. You lived in the house, you said, for seven years. I think it was six, seven years, if I remember it, right. Well, yeah. try six. Six. Because according to your complaint, the defendants lived there for four years. So that doesn't add up. No, no. It, it would have been 2014 is when she moved in, to, to October they 2014. They moved in in October of 2013, according to your complaint, Mr. Jones. 13. That means that you and your wife and children lived there for four years. I must have, it might have been a typo. I apologize. It, uh, I'm pretty sure that it was 2014. I don't know if she can verify, but How many years sure. did you live there? Almost four years. When did you move out? April 19th, 2017. What was your rent? When we moved out, it was 1000 When we moved in, it was 950 When did it become 1000 About a year and a half after we moved in. How many bedrooms? Three. And who lived there? Myself, my husband, my two boys, and my father. Mr. Jones evicted you, is that correct? Yes. And that was on the 19th of April? Yes. You lived there until the 19th of April? Yes. When did you stop paying rent? I paid partial rent in January, and in February is when it started to back up. January, February, March, and April, four months. Prior to January, had you paid your rent at $1,000 a month previous year? That would be all of 2016. I was late on November, but I paid that in December. I don't care if you were late. I'm not yes. talking about by the time you moved out is what you're telling me, that you just hadn't paid four months' rent. Correct. Is that correct? No. Of course not. How many months' rent? When did she stop paying rent? So she was behind uh, $4,100 total by the no, end. It's not what I asked you. I said, when did she stop paying rent? It was March 13th. The last one was $1,500 that that check was returned. So she had a total of five checks that were returned over the course of about a year. Five checks that were returned insufficient funds? Correct. Okay, did she ever make those up? No. Is so, that in addition to the rent that she never paid starting in January? No, so that includes everything. So, so five months. Th she did make up a, a portion of one, so about $4,100 is what she hasn't uh, made up, is the, the total amount that she was delinquent. When you moved in, Ms. McMahon, did you give Mr. Jones security deposit? Yes. How much? 500 Is that correct, sir? Yes. Did you return that to her? No. Okay, so you have a $500 security deposit. Correct. Now, you're claiming damage to the premises. Correct. Damage to the premises if you say that the defendant owes you, and she probably acknowledges $4,000 in rent that she owes you because she said she hadn't paid in four months, you're suing for forty-seven forty-two, which means that you, in your calculations, were allocating $642 to damage, correct? Uh, 642 to damage. I'm going by your numbers. You're suing her for 4742. You say she owes you about $4,100, which means that you, you yourself, calculated that she left $642 worth of damage. And of the $642 worth of damage, you kept her security deposit, correct? That's correct. Well, it's, it's actually, so I took the security deposit. So it was a little more than that. The, the total damages was $1,742. And so is the security deposit plus... Um, ne the math is never going to work out for you, sir. Yeah. Do you understand that? Yeah. <laughs> I, what I did was I just <laughs> eliminated the last yeah, month. Yeah, of I, I, I understand. Right, so, right. Yeah. Math is not going to work out for you. Yeah. All uh, right, so it's $4,142. Can I see the damage, please, that you're alleging? Yeah. So I have some before and after photos. How old are your boys, Ms. McMahon? Um, my one son just turned 11, and my other one is 9. You just show her. Tell me why you stopped paying rent. In September of last year, my father passed away, and I was being paid to take care of him. By the so, state? By the VA, mm -hmm. so well, federal. That's yeah. Before. That's after. And when we lost that income, it hit us pretty hard. Okay, so it was fi you had financial trouble. Mm -hmm. Okay. Beautiful house. Thank you. All right, so we have a stain on the rug. That's dog. Oh, this is pretty disgusting. That's pretty disgusting. Is that the way you leave this gorgeous house? We left in a hurry. It's disgusting. That has nothing to do with your father passing away or having financial problems. That's called being a pig. You have this nice home that you moved into, clean. That's not the way you leave it. Judging for the plaintiff and the amount of 41.42, we're done. Thank you.